Uh, I'm going to introduce Allison Hackett. Allison knows everything there is to know about uh, grilling and uh, catering in particular. How to move it out of the kitchen, onto the lawn, or anywhere else you want to have a, a catered activity and take the pressure off you, which is what I love to do. So, Allison, welcome. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> well, great. And you're going to tell us, so first of all, tell us a little bit about you. How did you get started? Well, uh, the restaurants and food has been in my family for a really long time, since before I was even born, so I guess it was kind of in my blood. Um, I've always enjoyed cooking. I went to college in Burlington, Vermont, to Champlain College for hotel restaurant management, and then decided I wanted to learn a little bit more about cooking, and started. I started a course, um, a, a certificate course in catering and um, culinary arts. So. And you brought all that experience, background, talent to the banks of the Kennebec River. To the banks of the Kennebec, So yes. we can grill a sturgeon right here if we could just get our hands on one. But uh, actually, I think Maybe that's... Maybe you, but not me. Not you. <laughs> it would actually fill the whole grill right here. Uh, sturgeon's a fairly large fish. But today, uh, what are we going to be dining on today? Today we have a variety of uh, grilled vegetable kebabs. We're doing barbecue chicken. It's summertime, so we need corn on the cob. One of my favorites is uh, roasted potatoes inside a foil bag, so it kind of steams inside the bag. Really easy to do. And we have a variety of fresh potato salad, pasta salad. This will be our dessert, a mixed berry shortcake. Mm. And of course, watermelon. How can you go wrong? Well, you can't there. I mean, really, I, that's my plate of watermelon. What are you going to have? Oh, bummer. <laughs> no, I'm not that big eater, really. I, I, I know I look like I am, but I'm not, really. I try to hold back. Uh, but tell me a little bit about how this whole catering thing happens because to me this is quite a large vessel here. It sure is. So um, do you drag this out to places so you can cook for people or do? If we were doing a barbecue we certainly would. Um, so as you can see it's quite large. It can accommodate a lot of food. Um, we are, I, I'm employed through Spectrum Generations but we have our own catering company called Cohen on the Meadows and we're based out of Hollowell and also Waterville. So we will cater anything and everything at your house, at our site, corporate meetings, weddings, rehearsal dinners, parties, whatever you want, out you can the, do it. Out on the back lawn at my place in West Gardner, for instance, sure. could happen. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I was to call and make arrangements and so forth. Certainly. So, uh, And I know the food is excellent. I'm telling you, I'm having a hard time not reaching out and muckling right on to some of the vegetables. <laughs> you know, you don't think about vegetables necessarily as something that you're going to go out and grill. Yeah. We always think about kill it and grill it kind of thing. Right. But, but uh, you don't have to kill vegetables. They're no, already dead in they're, a way. They're so, already killed yeah. for you. <laughs> they're not breathing. They're not moving. They're not twitching. No. Nope. Uh, so what kind of vegetables do we have? What have you got strung out here on these little sticks? Uh, we have a medley of peppers, yellow, orange, red, and green peppers, zucchini, summer squash, onions, and mushrooms. And what I did last night, I screw, skewered them up yesterday afternoon and I marinated them overnight in balsamic vinegar oh. and garlic, salt, and pepper. Oh. So, they smell pretty good. You turned me <laughs> up here. Yeah. Now, when you go out to do a catering job, and with, the whole idea is to take the pressure off the person that's bringing you in to cater. Certainly. Uh, what do they say? Do they just call up and say, hey, Allison, could you show up at my place with a few peppers and uh, some chicken and, and some potatoes? Or, or do you actually work out a whole scenario of the timing and everything else? And timing is a critical thing, I would say. Timing is critical. Um, typically, we would have a meeting or just, you know, figure it out through email or over the phone or something. Um, we do have a menu that we can send to anybody or um, I, I welcome whatever anybody wants. So if you are a diehard sturgeon fan, we'll make it happen. <laughs> well, we can, except I think it's illegal to actually oh, catch them and geez. keep them. I think you're supposed to catch and release. Uh, sturgeon is a protected species. Oh, anyway, oh, oh. we're well, not going to brought it up. You. Well, I did bring it up because I'm in West Garden and there's not many rules out there. But right. uh, at any rate, uh, what I'd like to do is have you, in addition, I know we're talking about how to cater. Yeah. I also would love to get, personally, I'd like to get some uh, tips on how to how to grill. How to you know, grill. How I could do it. And in, 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 if I wanted to help out in the catering biz, for instance, mm -hmm. what would I do first in addition to putting on this snappy Spectrum Generation bib and overalls here? Well, I would say your first, your first thing to do would be figure out what you want. 
okay? go from there. I and mean, we've, we've gone you've from already sturgeon. gone there. We've okay. gone from sturgeon. We're into I love chicken. All right, I do. so chicken we're back to chicken. Grill. Chicken and these veggies. And the corn, do you have to soak that down to keep it from burning? Soak it overnight, yes, um, because otherwise it would be up in flames right now. You want to soak it overnight in water or soak it not, not necessarily overnight, but for quite a while so that the husk is nice and wet. And then leave it on low heat? Low heat um, because the corn is cooking internally. The husk is kind of, you know, the, the wrapper. So you want, so the corn's steaming on the inside of the wrapper. So you want to make sure um, you don't want to cook it on high heat because then it's going to fry it. It's kind of like a natural oven there. Exactly. Yeah, it was born exactly. in an oven. They must, the little kernels must have been scat right from the beginning. Might might be. I'm born. I'm if here you, in an oven. Someone's going to cook if me. If you do it on high, it might be popcorn. You it don't might. want that. No. In fact, if that's that's going off, I'm going to die for cover. It, okay. Yeah. So uh, let Let's me know. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. I don't think it will. And look at you moving around because, see, the heat is not. The heat's in somewhat, the back. Somewhat variable. Yeah. Okay. Hotter in the back. Hotter in the back. So, so uh, you got to rotate rolling. and keep 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 track of what's going on. Is that why that one there looks more cooked yeah. than say, that one there? Yep, and exactly. See, I'm smarter than I look. I'm going to start pulling them off. I think the veggies are done. The veggies look done. Yeah. I, You may want someone to taste this. I'm just, Maybe. And it may be, I don't know who's around. Maybe we oh, can I'm, get some volunteers out there. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. I am available. You are. Yeah. And oh, and you got me a big plate too. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> well, this is fun and you know, to have someone like Allison come over to your place and take all the pressure off you and cater to the nth degree. She's told me herself, she happens to be the best caterer, but there's a lot of them out there. Uh, I took Allison's word for it, not only because uh, she sounded honest, but because when you look at the result right here on this grill, you can't help but believe it. It's, uh, it's the kind of thing we should all take more advantage of here in Maine. The summers are short. Uh, someone asked me the other day what we do in the summer in Maine. I said, well, last summer it fell on a Tuesday yeah. and we had a picnic. So if you've only got that one day, what you want to do is have someone cater the meal. So you don't have to spend your one summer day struggling with cooking and probably burning it. That's what I would do. But uh, Allison comes in. It's all done right. People like Allison. There's actually other caterers in the world. Allison happens to cater for uh, Spectrum Generation. And uh, it's Cohen on the Meadows. Cohen on the Meadows, yes. And uh, they, the good thing about that is, and uh, this show is supported by that, uh, that organization. I should say that for honesty. But the truth is, all the money that's made goes right back into the community. So it, it is a good thing. It's, it's, uh, it's an excellent way to get a great meal brought to your house. And it's also an excellent way to continue to support our community, uh, which is what this is all about.